Everyone, this is Jackie Williams and in this video I want to share with you four ways to use the Enduring Beauty Bundle. Now these are certainly not the only four ways, there's lots of things you can do with this, but I just want to show you four ways and then you can uh, get creative from there. So this bundle features a stamp and a die set which is usual, but this one is unique because it also has a set of five coordinating masks. So I want to show you how these work in with the stamps and dies. Let's start by using just the stamp. So you could ink up and stamp your large flower in any color you like, of course, and you could also heat emboss. Now from here, you can color this any way that you like to color. Of course, you need to have your ink or your outline be suitable for whatever coloring method you are going to use. So here's an example. This is a simple card that I've made with Fresh Freesia and Orchid Oasis. And for this one, I just colored it in with Stampin' Blends. Now I'm going to make this card for each of the four ways in exactly the same, basically, uh, but just showing you how each one will look different depending on which products you combine. And then for another sample, I just stamped the flower in Night of Navy and just made a cute little tag. And then on this sample, I actually gold embossed the outline on watercolor paper and then watercolored the flowers and then just made a simple card with that. Now a stamp set that I'm going to be using with a lot of the samples is this one called Sweetly Scripted and this one is available as of 5th of March. It's going to be a favorite of mine, I know. I, I just think that is so nice. Okay, let's move on to our second way of using the Enduring Beauty Bundle. Now this way I want to use just the mess. So you'll want to have a piece of scrap paper underneath. Now I have marked on my masks which way is up. There is a little number in each corner as well as a notch and the number is embossed. So if, if you just do it all consistently embossed or not embossed with the numbers, you should be fine. But I did just mark it just as extra insurance. So I'm gonna start with mask number one. Although to be honest, it doesn't really matter all that much which mask you start with. But when I put that on, however way you put it on, I would suggest uh, probably using a little washi tape. I'm just gonna hold it, but also at least marking that notch. That's just gonna make it easier when you're using the other masks because you can just put them all in exactly the same place and then your images will line up. So you could use um, sponge daubers or even spritzers. I'm going to use my blending brushes. And for this sample, I'm gonna use a flirty flamingo. And I'm just gonna put on a very light layer of ink. I'm gonna call that good and take that away. Now I'll use mask number two. And this gives us the detail on the flowers. So assuming I haven't moved my paper, you can just line that up and that at least gives you a really good starting place and then just fine tune it. So you don't wanna see any white here. You wanna be on the ink. And this mask is giving us the detail to the flowers. So you could use a complementary or a contrasting color. I'm actually for this sample, just gonna use the exact same color and just do a darker layer of it. I found when I was experimenting, I actually preferred this layer to be more like, um, a shadow rather than a, a strong contrast or a big color difference, but that is just completely personal preference. And also, I think it's quite nice to have dark and light areas. You see, I've gone a little bit darker there in the middle. It just makes it all that much more interesting. So now it looks like this. Now we'll use mask number, oh, actually that was number three. This is number two, which is the leaves. It, like I said, it doesn't really matter too much. So you just wanna get those leaves so they're in between those flowers. And I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green. Again, just a light layer. And then mask number four are the details to the leaves. 
Again, I could use a different green. I'm actually just gonna use Granny Apple Green again and just add those details. Beautiful. I really like these colors together. And then the last mask is the center to the flowers. Now, of course, any of these layers you can leave off, personal preference. And I'm gonna use Calypso Coral. I thought about yellow, but I wondered if yellow was, would show up on top of the pink. I suppose it just depends on how heavily the ink was applied. There we go. That's actually quite beautiful, even just using only the masks. So I'm gonna show you a sample using just the masks. So this is the one that I said I had made in four different versions. So this is my mask only version, and I've used that sweetly scripted across the bottom there. And then here's another sample using just the masks. And this one I've done on top of gray granite. And I have used Berry Burst and the Whisper White ink for the details. So that was something a little bit different. I did the details actually in a lighter color. So our third way of using the Enduring Beauty bundle is to use the stamps combined with the masking. So I'll take that flower that I stamped in the beginning and I'm just going to lay the masks over top. There, beautiful. So that's what it looks like when you combine the stamps with the masks. And here is my sample using the stamps and the masks together. And then here is another sample that I made using the same uh, process just using a partial flowers for this one in a different colorway. And then the fourth way that you can use these is com by combining the stamps, the masks, and then the dies. So these can be cut out so you can have a dimensional image. You could even do a second set and cut out one or two or three of the flowers and put those up on dimensionals if you wanted even more dimension. So here's my sample with the flowers cut out. And then here's another sample where I have cut those flowers out, uh, this time done in boho blue and berry burst. So let me show you again the four ways I'm showcasing in this video. So this is stamps only and then colored in any method that you like. These were done with blends. This is using the masks only. This sample is using the masks and the stamp together. So you would stamp it first and then use the mask to color. So if you compare these two, um, the shading is a little different because this is a prescripted mask and that was colored by hand. And then this one is the stamps, the masks, and then using the die cuts. So I think all of the methods look great. It's really just a matter of personal preference or what you have time for as you are creating a particular project. So I hope that inspires you to give the Enduring Beauty a try and to get a little more value out of your purchase. This is Jackie Williams. Thanks so much for joining me. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or comments or just wanna say hi. And please subscribe. I'll see you next video. This is Jackie. Bye-bye.